I'm going to have to whip out a flashlight in a bit. Yeah, I can see natural light ahead. So there's definitely a second entrance. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here. I see an ice formation. So I'll go ahead and sit down over here, get my other flashlight out. Loose rocks. We even though it's short, looks like this cave might be interesting. I have a malfunctioning flashlight. It's fired. Okay, well, try bachelor number two. Wow. Yeah, that makes a difference. Okay, so. Looks like this cave has some interesting walls. Cause look. So up there, there's a little side passage. And then over on the left, there's an also equal side passage. I'm gonna do the one on the left first, just cause I'm over here, it's closer. Before I do, I gotta watch my step, check this out. There's a lot of small lava or ice stalagmites here. Just a, like an inch wide couple of feet tall I mean a couple inches tall but yeah so real small but anyway so yeah there's that side passage there it's not very far back but notice how the floor and the ceiling are rough because it's too small for people to fit pretty well preserved more ice there all right let's go to the other side so here in the middle, where I was just getting my, uh, what's it called? Another flashlight out. You can see there's some ice here. Not big. Two inches wide, three inches high, something like that. Not big. Now I'm going to go up on top of this breakdown, because I want to see if there's anything up here that I couldn't see from the other side. Huh. Can't really tell. It's a bit difficult getting up here. And I gotta watch my head. Don't hit it on the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, just a gap between rocks. Nothing interesting. Little way to walk over there. But whatever. Looks like there is another little side passage here. Whatever you want to call it. Almost a cubby hole. Yeah, well, nice and rough back in there. Different layers of the cave peeling apart. And if you notice, I'm on top of a breakdown pile. Sort of a trench along here. It's a few feet down, not too bad. Nothing particularly interesting around here. Keep the camera pointed down because I see a lot of ice stalagmites on the floor ahead, just on this one side. Well, before I go down, so yeah, look at that. Over on the wall, there's like a little tiny side passage there, way too small for people. There's another one also too small for people. 
So it's really well preserved because nobody can go back there. And then also notice up there, same thing. Different layers of the cave peeled apart as it formed. So let me see if I can get down here without breaking anything. So there's ice here. I don't want to trample the ice. Yeah. There's that one that I saw earlier. It's noticed it's lit up by the natural light pretty well. And then over here, there's others. Those are his rat droppings too. Yum yum. Oh well, I gotta decontaminate after these caves anyway. Some more ice here. There's a little gap in the rocks there. Ice here. Whoa. I think I can step through here without trampling the ice. It's a couple of bigger ones here, a few inches tall. A few inches tall here. So this is just like Indian Well Cave. But Indian Well Cave, they're a couple that are over a foot tall easily. But they're the same width. They just get taller and taller without getting wider and wider. So they end up looking like bowling pins. They're really cool. More rat droppings on the floor here. Oops. Huh. There's another little tiny side passage there. This one has dirt and twigs on the bottom. So probably uh, some sort of rat brought that stuff in. But how did the rat get up there? I don't know. Wow, nice big passage. Like I said, it's at least 50 feet across here. Although the ceiling right now, I'm only maybe eight feet tall. It's low enough, I could almost touch it. It's pretty darn close. Of course, it depends on where I'm standing, since the floor is so uneven, obviously. Wow, there's a wind going through here. I can feel a wind in my face. And then here's some more of that ice. A couple tiny pieces on the left, decent formation on the right. Maybe uh, one and a half inches wide, three inches tall. Not super big yet. But I definitely need to come back later in the winter, because we're having a nice cold, wet winter. So. This is a great year for uh, ice caves, ice formations, and so on. Okay, time to turn off the flashlights. It's pretty steep, but I can get plenty of footing. See what I'm doing. Just gotta, well, watch my head because the ceiling's only like five feet high. If I stand up straight, bonk my head. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way to where it flattens out. Uh, excuse me, turn around, take a look at the entrance. All right. So, yeah, it's like a 45 degree angle down here. If I didn't, if there was actual ice and not just snow, I wouldn't even try that. That's crazy. But yeah, luckily, it's been below freeze or above freezing. Huh, there's a white stick type thing down there. I wonder what that was.